Greetings everybody, Pastor Dave here, September 28th, Rosh Hashanah begins 2011. And now you're probably all wondering, what is wrong with Pastor Dave? Now why is he dressed in that getup? Why is he all dressed up like he's getting ready to go hunting? Well, like the title says, uh, I am. I'm about to go hunting. But, you know, in all, all honesty, I wouldn't have the heart uh, to be a hunter. Not that anything's wrong with, with hunting. Uh, it's just my personal choice. Uh, I just wouldn't have the heart to do it. I do go fishing. But I am a going hunting today. But it's not with, not with this kind of weapon. I'm going to use a different kind of weapon. But I am going deer hunting. I'm going hunting for my dear brothers and sisters who have not yet accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior. And these are the end times. And I'm going to use this kind of weapon the Holy Scriptures, the Word of God. I did a video the uh, other day, uh, last altar call, when I talked about playing Russian roulette with your eternal soul. And I was amazed. Uh, I uploaded the video, and that evening, uh, six people, right off the bat, gave their life to the Lord and accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior. And then more the next day, more today. And I don't want to boast. That's between our Heavenly Father and our new saints and and just spew out numbers of people that have given their life to the Lord but I want to challenge you today because I'm going hunting for you I'm hunting for you dear friends will you give your life to the Lord and accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior as here we are on Rosh Hashanah so much taking place in the world uh, I urge you to watch my videos and I plead with you it's not too late our Heavenly Father loves you so much. He sent His only Son. Can you imagine that? His only Son to be beaten. Beaten to a pulp. His body broken. His face broken. Whipped. And nailed to a tree. So you. You could be forgiven. Now, it doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter what you do. Would you please. I plead with you. Would you please accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Send me a personal message right here on my channel. Just put on the top, saved. Saved. And let me guide you down that not so easy path to go. Leave the material uh, wonders of the world behind and give your life to the Lord. Will you do that today? I'm going to talk about upcoming uh, world events in the news right now. I brought you a video earlier about this new asteroid. I just found out about NASA coming out tomorrow. I'm trying to talk fast so I don't run out of time. Uh, with a press conference uh, and I was unaware of this until the other day and there's a lot more going on in the world uh, this comes from uh, if I can find the right page let me see here the coming uh, crisis website uh, I'm going to try to put links below if I can earth and crosshairs of gigantic solar storm caused by a sunspot measuring 62,000 miles across September 27th 2011 from the coming crisis, that's a wonderful website. I want you to go there and support them. The sunspot, 62,000 miles across, so big it would dwarf the Earth, is uh, releasing gigantic solar flares that could, in theory, wreak havoc with uh, electrical communications, ranging from handheld electronics such as cell phones, iPhones, to uh, bringing down the power grids. NASA has detected two X-class solar eruptions from 1322, the most extreme possible in the past week. One that occurred on September 24th produced an amazing light show over England uh, last night, but it's far from over as the sunspot isn't yet directly aligned with Earth. This is going to get even worse, so we got to watch for power grids, uh, uh, power outages, and would that have anything to do with uh, this asteroid? We don't know. I don't know. Uh, and these fireballs in Argentina and Texas and elsewhere. What else we got going on in the world? Um, wonderful message. Uh, Rosh Hashanah message I brought you earlier. Watch my videos from Prime Minister uh, Benjamin Netanyahu. And I think he made a clear point uh, to uh, not only Palestine but to the rest of the world. Uh, Israel is a Jewish nation and that it will remain. Will this trigger war? We've got uh, tensions heating up between Israel now and Iran. Iran is 
now sending more ships uh, into the United States, into our waters? Uh, and that's right, friends. Let me see if I can find the story real quick before I run out of time. And I will put links below. Because my main focus on is I'm hunting today. I'm hunting for new saints. I want new saints today. I want a trophy day. Iranian Navy plans to send ships near United States waters. The Iranian, Iranian Navy plans to move naval vessels out of the Persian Gulf and into the Atlantic Ocean near maritime borders of the United States. The uh, Tehran Times reported Tuesday, or according to the English language paper based in Tehran, the announcement came from a top Iranian naval uh, officer on Tuesday. As the global arrogance forces of imperialism have a military presence near our sea borders, we also plan to have a strong presence near the United States sea borders. I'm going to put that link below. So much going on in the world. So much taking place. Now Iran is sticking out its chest, poking its chest out, and it's uh, decided it's going to come pay us a little visit. And who do we have here? We're cut thin. Our troops are in Libya, in uh, Iraq, uh, Afghanistan, we're all in the Middle East. And who's home? I guess I got my, my Jeep is already camouflaged. I love my Jeep. Did I ever show you a picture of my camoed out Jeep? I guess we got to defend our own self over here. I don't know if anyone's left. A lot taking place in the world. Let me bring you, uh, how much time do I got? A little bit of time. Let's see what else I have for you today. Uh, FDA, oh my goodness, and this was given to me, and I and put on my Facebook, uh, uh, my Facebook page. FDA finally admits chicken meat contains cancer-causing arsenic, but keep eating it. So for what this basically says, I'm gonna try to put the link below. For 60 years, the FDA knew they were uh, uh, chicken contained this arsenic that was in the feed. And they were feeding it to us, knowing it was going to give us cancer. I don't want to run out of time. Let me read the story real quick. After years of sweeping the issue under the rug and hoping no one would notice, the FDA has now finally admitted that chicken meat sold in the USA contains arsenic, a cancer-causing toxic chemical that uh, that's fatal in high doses. But the real story is where the arsenic comes from. It's added to the chicken feed on purpose. And I'm going to put that link below for you. Let me check the time real quick. When I use this setup here, I can't go over 10 minutes. So I've just got to be careful. Eight minutes. Um, I'm going to put that link below. So they've known all along for 60 years they've been feeding us this tainted chicken. And we eat it. I love chicken. I love chicken swarma. Um, so now they finally come out and they admit it. But... Um, it's okay for them to go uh, try to pull vitamins off the shelf and raid uh, distributors of, of uh, natural milk that is good for you. Uh, a, a lady right here in Michigan, not a few months back, they arrested her for her garden. But for 60 years they fed us uh, cancer-causing uh, chicken. Something's wrong. Will you please... I'm 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 hunting today. I'm hunting today, and I want a trophy day. So much going on in the world today as we celebrate Rosh Hashanah, and I will be back. Will you accept Jesus today as your Lord and Savior? Leave me a personal message. God bless, and I love you. More to come.